New evidence shown exclusively to ITV News London shows that heart disease could be going undetected as heart attacks are on the rise. The worrying findings have led a rugby club in Richmond, which lost two members to heart attacks, to start a foundation with the aim of screening all its members and raising awareness about the condition. Antoine Allen reports. This 20-minute screening could add years to people's lives. Yet last year, there was a decrease in the number of Londoners having vital heart and ultrasound tests. Due to leading an active life, Simon believed he didn't need a screening, but a checkup organised by his rugby club revealed anomalies in his health. That's great, thanks very much. You're welcome. How did it make you feel when you were given the results? Uh, initially surprised, obviously, because I thought I was completely fit and well. It's a huge relief, to be honest. Um, you know, it's not, for me personally, it's not, it's not a life-changing, but it's potentially a life-extending situation. During the first wave of the pandemic, the number of people in London having cardiac arrests went up by 81%, whilst the number of heart ultrasounds being completed in the capital fell by almost a fifth in 2020. The British Heart Foundation says this could only be the tip of the iceberg. We know shockingly that there are at least 100,000 fewer heart procedures that have been performed during the pandemic than we would expect. We know that on average 100 people more die of heart and circulatory disease than we would have expected before the pandemic every single week. So the sooner that we can get care back in place, the better. As a response to the early death of Richmond rugby players Stephen Fenn and Ian Williams, who both died from heart conditions, Richmond's Heavy Foundation was founded and partnered with New Victoria Hospital to establish an initiative to screen players and their families. It was very hard, big wake-up call, and the, which is really where all this came from, was it, it, that chance to say, actually, we can do something about this. And how does it make you feel knowing that each time someone who's a member or a player gets a screening and something's detected, you're essentially adding life to their life? You know, we, we all said, you know, having gone through losing three close friends, if we can save one person, then all the work, all the planning w would be worthwhile. The foundation and the hospital want to encourage more people to sign up for a screening. Antoine Allen, ITV News.